so this is Charlie. Um, right now you can see we don't have Elven phone installed. And over here, here's the Cordova Elven phone directory. And if you do a CAD on the README, you can see the steps involved. We would go Cordova platform add Android. And that does that part of it for us. And then, <clears throat> so now when we do an LS, we now have a platforms directory, ls-l, there's the platforms directory. And then the next stage would be to run setup pl plugins. If you look in the um, plugins directory, you can see there's not much in there right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to type this um, set up plugins and you can see that that does Cordova plugin add and then the URL of the repository, the Git hub repository where the phone dialer that we want to use is actually located. So we'll run set up plugins and that goes ahead and installs the plugins. So now if we do an LS on plugins, we can see that there's the phone dialer itself and um, you can see the most important part of it. You can see there's an iOS thing if you want to support iOS that's available. And there's phone dialer.java if you wanted to see how the plugin actually worked. Um, the other part of what's important in here is the plugin XML file, which is sort of the guide for how the install of the plugin actually works. So Okay, so there's all that. And then in readme, the next step is to run Bower install. The interesting thing about the Bower install here is we've got a Bower RC, which says install Bower components, not in the current directory, but in the WW directory. And if we look out there, we can see right now there's no Bower, no Bower components directory. We'll do the Bower install and then when we do it and we look out there in www, now you can see there's a Bower Components folder out there and probably no surprise what's in there, jQuery. Okay. So now the last step would be to, to run install, which is a script that exists here in the directory and it does Cordova build Android. It builds it ADB uninstall anything that's on the device right now, on the phone right now. And at the moment <clears throat> there's nothing connect, uh, installed on the phone as you saw. But we can do, if we do an ADB devices, we can see that we are connected to the phone. And of course, if you wanted to make that connection, you would have gone ADB connect 192.168.2.27 or whatever the IP address of your virtual box is. Or if you've just plugged in your phone, it should be connected automatically without you doing a connect. So um, the other thing about the install is that I'm assuming that the name of your APK of the compiled application is Cordova app-debug. In some cases, it seems like it's being called main activity debugapk instead, in which case you just edit this script. I could probably do something in the script to do an either or to make it, but the key point is it does ADB install then the name of the APK file. So let's go ahead and we'll run the script and we're doing the build now and this should succeed for us. And the part that we will, will fail, of course, as we expect is to do the uninstall and the uninstall won't work because we're, um, we don't have anything installed yet on the system. As you recall, um, over here, we have node routes, but we don't have um, Elven phone installed. So now it finished the install and now there's Elven phone. It is installed because even though the uninstall failed, the install succeeded. And now you can see the phone here and we can use the keyboard or the mouse to navigate to it. And here's our script. Now I'm running right now on VirtualBox. I'm not running on a real phone. So when I click on call phone in Android, it, it doesn't really do much very exciting. Okay, you may get a little something popping up, you may not, but it doesn't do much very exciting because um, I'm not on a real phone. But if I were on a phone and I clicked that, it would work. If I were on the web, these other two would work. So I've kind of combined into one application the ability to... Um, so I'm going to run a little 
Python web server here. <clears throat> and then I'll come over here to my browser and I'll go to port 30025. Now, <clears throat> I started the browser in the root rather in the WW directory, but we come over here and here's the whole thing running as a web app, which you could also do. And if we click here, it, you know, threatens to start making a phone call, which makes no sense on a, in, in this particular case. Or if we clicked here, it would again um, make a phone call, but we're not going to do that. And all that stuff works because here in our HTML, we have an href with a HTML5 command to make a phone call. And here in control.s, <coughs> Here's the web call, which we just do a window.location href, and then the number that we want to call with that little special tell signal there. And here's the phone call that does the Android phone call. We're using that phone dialer. We saw the phone dialer.java file earlier. This is the plugin, and here's the phone number. So you can see where to change the phone numbers if you want to do it. Up here, we're just doing wiring up our uh, calls for. Um, with jQuery. And that's all I want to show you. Have fun playing with this technology. It's uh, very powerful and pretty easy to use. Mm -hmm.